Hey guys, I'd love for you to look with me in Revelation chapter 3. Jesus says to the church in Sardis, You have a name that you are alive, but you are dead. To be alive means that life has entered into you. And by that life, you now perceive, can sense, can feel. And death is the absence of life. Therefore, there's no sense, there's no perception, there's no feeling whatsoever. Jesus says, you look on the outside like you have life, but in the inside or in reality, you do not. You don't have the ability to sense anymore, feel anymore, perceive anymore, but you conduct your life as if you do. This really touches my heart because it shows what Christ's emphasis is. It is not theology or theoretically or verbally. He's talking about actuality. Are you alive? Alive to me, perceiving me, without the tender perceptions of his person, daily, enjoyed, sensed, communication, communion, exchange, fellowship. Without this, there's no reception of life. And that's exactly what the spiritual life is, is receiving the Spirit as life and living life through the life received from the Spirit. Without this, we become Christian drones. What I mean by that is not having the ability to perceive or even obey from the heart, we start obeying by calculation instead of adoration. We say one plus one equals two and not, oh Lord, I love you. See, the only thing that touches Christ's heart is that which comes from your heart. He's not just trying to get people to do what's right and then he'll do right by them. He wants you to love him and in giving him your heart it is your highest delight and highest pleasure to let him in and take possession fully and by this you live an early christian writer that i like wrote this occupy o lord the throne of my heart notice the throne he says is on the heart it is a situation of love rulership I give you rule over my life because I love you. He says, you, O Lord, are worthy to be loved with every faculty of my soul, my mind, my will, my emotions. I love you with everything, Lord. I love you, Lord, with everything on the inside of me. And he says, I was dead. Now look at how he describes being dead. He says, I had no eyes to see thee, no ears to hear thee, no taste to relish your joys, no intelligence to know thee, but your spirit has quickened me and has brought me into a new world as a new creature, has given me spiritual perception, has opened to me your word as light and guide and solace and joy. Thy presence is to me a treasure of unending peace. Keep me, O Lord, because I cannot keep me. He says, help me to walk in your presence and to lean on your arm, to hold unbroken communication with you, and then I shall be salt of the earth and blessing to everyone. I encourage you to life, to receive Christ as life, spirit to spirit, direct contact, real interactive fellowship with him. This is the receiving of life and life causes fruit and fruit pleases God. Oh Lord, I pray that you would bring each one of us into a deeper sense of yourself. Save us from religious cliche speakings and breathe into us a deeper sense of yourself. We want to know you, Lord. Above all things, this is what matters, to know you. Not to know what's coming, not to know what was, not to know why, 
but to know you. This is everything, Lord. Bring us into yourself in your precious name. Fill us again with the Holy Spirit, for he is our only means by which Jesus is knowable. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you again for subscribing and your comments. Thank you for sharing the video. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, I love every one of you. I love reading the consistent comments from consistent people. You guys are treasures. Blessings to you.